Him or not? Stat and Cross 2010, right? Or was yeah. this 2010? Yeah, it's, it's All right, the, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you did the elites today. Tell us about your race. Um, well, I went out super hard just because, you know, hometown. You were, you were leading, I think, lap two. and Yeah, it's home, you know, hometown race. You want to give your fans something to cheer about. <laughs> by lap 42. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, I mean, I don't know. Was it really, really hard to take the lead, or was it just like go 90% kind of thing? No, I mean, I was definitely going 100%. I don't know, Valentine was probably going like 65-ish, you know? Warming up. Yeah, he was probably just cruising, and I was like, ah, whatever, I'll go first now. It was fun, you know, <clears> and then I, you know, you third lap, I think, through the woods, I made a couple of mistakes, and you lose those guys' wheel, that's it. You're not getting them back. Okay. So, and then I was riding with Maurice for a little bit, and... <clears throat> yeah, and then I started drinking. <laughs> did you take a beer hand out? Yeah. Oh, you did. Good for you, man. Do you know how you finished? Fifth. Right? Hey, Shots. very so, nice. So, you know. Pretty good result. I mean, it was a really deep feel, I think. Yeah, no, I, I'm very happy with that. And uh, no one who actually lives in New York City beat me, which is a Nice. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I, th I think that's been 60 seconds. Uh, this year they added that that really technical section by the pond. Uh, how did, you did last year here, you did really well, so. Uh, last year it was a lot less technical. You just kind of went straight and then just rode up over it. And to this year it was definitely a lot more mountain bike-y. Right. And uh, I feel like a couple of people were psyched about it and a couple of people were not, so. It's kind of a give and take, you know, there's only so much they can do with the course here, so they try to make it as exciting as possible, you know. CJ wants to put on a good race. Awesome. Give people something to talk about. It seemed like uh, it was a good race. I mean, uh, definitely tough. We had Neil out here, we had Roger, we had Valentin. And... I mean, no, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough feel. I feel like a lot of people underestimate Maurice. Maurice know. as well, absolutely. You know, and he's... He's incredibly fast. I actually lost to him last year here too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I totally agree. He's totally underrepresented. So. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> riding with Roger was kind of fun for like four laps and then Roger took off and I was like, meh. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a replay of a road race actually for me. Roger takes off and I go, meh. <laughs> Very nice. So you'll be back next year for sure, right? Yeah, I mean, unless I don't live here. It's okay. kind of hard to miss. Tell us what's coming up for you for the rest of the season. Uh, next week I'm taking a break and I haven't, you know, I've been racing twice a weekend for the last nine weeks, so. It's a lot. Yeah, taking a break <clears throat> next next weekend, just not doing anything. Um, then the weekend after that we're going up to Sterling to do a UCI race, the North American Trophy Finale. So that's gonna be really tough because all the big guns will be there. And the week after that, I think we're doing Riverfront Cross in Jersey. Nope. No? <laughs> I don't know. She, she, that's my manager. <laughs> He's my mechanic, though. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> it's a mutual event for sure. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think Riverfront Cross, which is a really fun race in Jersey. Yeah, I did it last year. Um, it snowed last year. It was awesome. And then the weekend after that, we're going up to do the... Uh, NBCX Verge Series Final, and then I, th I don't think I'm going to Nationals because it's really far and I can't really afford it. You'll have to wait till it comes to the East Coast or Midwest. Midwest next year, so hopefully. Cool. Um, and then there's a race. There's a race in Philly on the 18th. There's a double header. There's a race that uh, Bicycle Therapy is putting on. That should be really fun and. The day after is Blinky Junkyard Cyclocross, so we're gonna go do that, close out the season with a party, you know. Fun, fun, fun. That's yeah, what cross then, is about. Yeah. And then I think you know, <clears throat> break for like three weeks or so, and then back to the road. Cool. Congrats on fifth place. Thanks.